Okay, this is my favorite metronome app, um, and I want to show you how to set it up. It can be used in a lot of different ways. Like most powerful programs, they can get a little bit complex. And this one's not too tricky, but I want to show you how to use it. Uh, I like it because it's available for iOS, Android, and Mac and it looks almost identical, at least on my iPhone. So um, here is how you set it up. When you first, so this, this is called Metronomics, is the name of the app, and when you first open it up, it's gonna come up with two sliders like this. The first thing you should do is go down to the bottom right tab and click on Settings, and then you're gonna see down there where it says Sliders, and there's a choice what you what the slider should do. I think it comes up as probability. We want to choose volume. So click on volume, and then that's all you need to do in the settings area. You probably do want these, these options on, but it doesn't make a big difference. The main thing is volume for sliders. Then uh, we're going to go back over to the main window. So it comes up with two sliders and they represent um, now they're doing volume and above the first one it says D which is the downbeat so this is gonna click on beat one of every measure and the other one it shows a picture of a quarter note but it's it's actually every beat so whatever time signature you're in it's gonna click on the down on the beat of everyone even if it's six eight it's gonna click on there but the first thing I think you should do is click on the little D and that brings up a window. And you can choose the sound that you want. It's set to cowbell. Let's scroll down near the bottom and set it to tick. I think that sound works a little bit better. So we'll see if I can find that quickly. There we go, tick. And now we're gonna say done there. Then we're gonna go to the next one and choose the sound for that. So we click on the note icon and we're going to choose the sound for that. Um, it's at woodblock medium. Let's change it to woodblock high. So it's the last one on the list. Woodblock high and we say done. Now we can add more subdivisions in here. So um, let's add another one. So I clicked on that blue bar to add another subdivision and it gives you lots of choices. Scroll all the way to the bottom of the list and choose every beat. We want it to click on every beat. You'll see a check mark right there and then you say add. And now we can choose what sound we want that to have, a whole bunch of other settings too. But let's just choose the sound and so you'll go down, where's the sound? Sorry, you know I probably don't see very well. Oh, there it's set to tabla. Let's um, go to the very top of the list this time and choose the numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a counting voice that we want. So we're gonna choose that and say done. Now we have three sliders. We're gonna add three more um, and these are gonna be our subdivisions. So we're gonna click here, add, add a subdivision and let's choose eighth notes right here. So we'll choose eighth. It's got our check mark and we say add. Now choose our sound. It has a default sound that it comes up as, but let's make it something different. Instead of the woodblock high, which we're already using, set it to hi-hats. Um, and there's three different hi-hats to choose from, but we want the hi-hat closed stick. So hi-hat uh, closed stick, that's what we're on. I'm gonna choose add or done there. Choose this again. This time we're gonna add eighth note triplets. So there it is, eighth note triplets, eighth triplets it says. Choose add, choose the sound. And we're just gonna make all of our different kinds of subdivisions be hi-hats. So it defaulted to a conga, but we're gonna change it uh, if I can quickly find the hi-hats, hi-hat open, if I go back one, hi-hat closed stick. So that's like a t -t 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 kind of sound. 
done. One more, we're almost done. Uh, this time we're going to choose 16th notes and choose add and then remember click on the picture of it to be able to choose the sound and lots of other settings you can choose if you want it to have a swing sound all kinds of things we're not going to have it be castanets we're going to have it be hi-hats oops I'm going the wrong way aren't I um, Come on, Dan, find, there we go, stick. Okay, done. So now, now, these bottom little dials are the probability. We just want it to happen all the time. So those knobs are all the way up. That's the way they came up. We don't have to change a thing. But these are the volumes. So I can drag up and down to choose how loud I want it to be. So if I don't want to hear something, I could just turn the probability to zero but I find it easier to just drag the volume all the way to the bottom. So you can click and then just drag a little bit. So those are all turned off. I'm gonna turn off this one as well. So the only thing we have on is our downbeat and our quarter note, and that's gonna sound like this. Okay, um, if I don't want that downbeat to sound, I can turn it like that. Okay, but I'm going to bring it up and we'll hear beep on beat one. Okay, now if I want to hear somebody counting along, which is really helpful sometimes, I can turn this four, up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But I don't have one, to have him really three, loud. Four, one, two, three, four. I can have one, it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just in the background four, a little one, bit. One, two, three, four. I'll turn him off for now. And now here's our eighth notes. And it's nice to have it as a different sound and to be able to put it in the background. Okay. Or if it's a song with triplet feel, one and a two and a three and a four and a, or with 16th notes even faster, Okay, and so it's really easy now to just use this. Uh, add, you just leave those settings all the time and you can turn up what you need. You can of course change the tempo and the time signature up here. Um, for six eight time, I just make it six four. And if you're on a Mac, you can just hit six and change, change the time signature right there, six four. Four, four, three, I just hit the number, it jumps to it. Um, if I wanna change the, the uh, tempo, I can press Command T and type in what I want it to be. The developer actually added that for me, which is pretty cool. Um, you can click on it and you can tap the tempo at the speed you want. If you're on a Mac, you can hit T, one, two, three, four. And it sensed that I was tapping at 115 beats per minute there. Um, then if you want to save this, you click the tab at the bottom and um, you can hit save and give it a name. Um, I've already got mine saved here, basic one. So I'll hit that. You can see I give them different colors. Um, you can do different, um, you can do all those kinds of settings by clicking on the little icon there of the, of the note, the subdivision. And that is how to use metronomics, or it's one way to use it. There are others, but I think that is a very useful way and it makes it quick when you're rehearsing to put in the tempo you want and then bring in the subdivision that you might want to use. So that is my recommendation.